I don't know if you, uh, I know we're going to talk about Johnny Ritchie, and I promise you that that conversation is going to happen. But just could you quickly chime in on uh, Padres opening day? Are the Padres pushing to have as many fans in the stands as possible? Oh, I, I think our organization has a lot of folks working with the uh, county and state health officials. And, um, you know, we're, we're hoping to get fans back in, but um, that remains to be seen. All right. Well, I know Major League Baseball is uh, dealing with the situation as best as possible. But the purpose of our conversation this morning is the Johnny Ritchie Breaking Barrier Scholarship Program. I think uh, as we last spoke, uh, I wanted you to talk about Johnny Ritchie. Could you could you speak to who Johnny Ritchie was and what he represents? Right. So a year after Jackie Robinson broke the color barrier for Major League Baseball in 1947, that was at a time when Major League Baseball was only east of the Mississippi. So a year later, 1948, Johnny Ritchie broke the color barrier for professional baseball on the West Coast, playing for his hometown team, San Diego Padres, in the Pacific Coast League. He was the only black player up and down the West Coast. He had a good, nice career, not just for his high school, San Diego High, also for San Diego State, and then ultimately with the San Diego Padres of the old Pacific Coast League. And uh, we recognize his heroism and his courage by our annual Johnny Ritchie Scholarship. Last year's winner, Layla Williams, actually was an alma mater of Ritchie's alma mater, San Diego High School. And this year we're now open for applications for uh, this year's recipient. Besides being a great athlete, he served his country honorably, did he not? He served in the Army, yes. And, um, and obviously had a lot of trials and tribulations, much, much like Jackie Robinson, obviously much lesser known person, but uh, somebody we're proud to be a part of San Diego history and Padres history. So we, we were, by keeping his name alive, you're also helping out uh, kids in underserved areas who can perhaps get an education and get, get further down the road on the, on the legacy of Johnny Ritchie. Explain how the nomination process works. Right, so on our website, if you go to Padres.com on the community page, you'll see the application for high school seniors from San Diego who are college bound. It's up to a $20,000 scholarship, $5,000 per year. And the main thing is uh, an essay in the student's own words about barriers they have broken um, in their life and, um, and how they can embody the spirit of Johnny Ritchie. So d describe the, the ideal nominee in your, in your view. Well, I'll just point back to last year's winner, Layla Williams, a young African-American gal at San Diego High School. She did the research and learned that there were only three African-American female OBGYNs in San Diego. And she said, wow, that's really underserved. So she has her intention to go to med school and ultimately you know, break that barrier. So, you know, the, the spirit of Johnny Ritchie could be in a number of ways, education uh, on the athletics field, uh, however, that individual has overcome obstacles. And, um, and again, we're, we're already getting nominations in, a number of good nominations. But uh, the application process is open through the end of the month, through February 28th. And then we plan to announce this year's recipient on Jackie Robinson Day, which for us is also Johnny Ritchie Day on April 15th. And just quickly, where can people, there's a statue or a plaque of Johnny at the ball yard? Yeah, there's a bust of Johnny um, in one of the uh, indoor spaces at the ballpark. But um, we're always looking for more ways to honor our past. And, and certainly Johnny is one of the great Padres of all time. Well, Tom, I, I'm sorry it took so long to get you hooked up, but I appreciate you making time <laughs> for KUSI. And we hope you get a ton of nominees. Thanks for sticking with us. Appreciate I, the uh, support. And I hope you get a ton of fans on opening day, too. I hope.